How's it going everybody? It is mid-morning of May 12th and Kaylee and I actually slept in this morning. We had uh, pretty bad thunderstorms going on, but we did do a little scouting and we got a bird picked out for tomorrow morning. And I'm going to show you some clips of him right now on this video. He uh, had some has some hens with him, but he's in a cornfield that uh, is pretty easily accessible right below our farm. And there's a little ridge line that runs along that cornfield, and I believe that's where he had roosted. He just moved into that woods. He hasn't been there all turkey season. I think he got. Uh, I think he came from across. Uh, the main road up there off the hill. I think there's a lot of pressure up there and uh, he finally got sick of all the pressure and came down into our woods where it hasn't been pressured at all down there because there wasn't any turkeys to hunt. But now there is, so and we're looking forward to going after him tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions for you guys. And I'm also gonna pick a winner of these two products right here. So stick around till the end of the video and find out if you are the winner of one of these. Brian Fanton asks, how do you like your new house, Cliff? Looks like a nice setup for you guys. I love it. It is absolutely perfect right on our uh, family farm. You can't beat it. You can walk out of my back door and shoot a woodchuck, you know, whenever, whenever I want or whenever I see a woodchuck out here. Watch deer and turkey every night right out behind the house. It's awesome. GS said, why don't you let Kaylee shoot your 300 wind mag at turkeys? Uh, it's illegal. You can only use a shotgun. So, if we could use 300 wind mag to hunt turkeys, then we'd be tagged out. Zach Wagler said, do you ever find morel mushrooms in New York? I have, but I haven't found any yet this year. Steve Obi asked, what choke tube do I need for my 1187 Remington deer gun 12 gauge? I have an improved cylinder in there at the moment for skeet shooting. It throws a semi-tight pattern so far. My barrel is not rifled. I changed tubes for slugs. Also, what kind of loads and brands should I try for turkey and three inch magnums? I would recommend getting a either a extra full turkey choke for that gun or just a full turkey choke. Uh, you want a really tight pattern for turkey hunting, especially if you have, if you're going to be shooting birds at 45 yards or so. And, uh, the round that I would tell you to use that I recommend to everybody is the Winchester XRs, the extreme, the extreme range. I mean, those, those rounds are unbelievable, at least out of my uh, 870 they are. I know different guns shoot them different, but that's what I would recommend starting with. They uh, throw one heck of a pattern. Brad uh, Steinmetz asked Cliff, have you ever tried hunting closer to the turkeys on the roost? Yes, we have, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. John Black, he said, I have a tough question for you. What is your absolute favorite hunting season? I would have to say archery season for deer. There's nothing like bow hunting during a rut. I mean, sitting in the woods and watching the deer run around and, and uh, I love that time of year. The leaves changing, waterfowl and the, you know, geese honking and ducks going into the swamp. I love that time of year. And nothing like the rush of sending an arrow through a nice buck, you know. Can't beat it. That's my all-time favorite hunting. Brad Liff asked, what kind of gun do you use for turkey hunting? I use my uh, 870, Remington 870. It's 12 gauge. I shoot XRs, three inches. Although I usually try to have a couple three and a half inches in case I get myself in a pickle and I want to shoot at a bird that's right on the brink of where I you know, 55 or 60 yards where I sh shouldn't be shooting at it. Luke Odell asks, what type of mouth calls do you use? I use uh, Woodhaven mouth calls. Well, that's a wrap on the questions. We'll uh, go ahead and dive right into the drawing here. I have a random picking app on my, on my uh, laptop now, so I can just put all the names into there and then it'll sort through all the comments and pick out two names. So the first one we're gonna pick is for the 3000 lumens flashlight. Okay, everybody, so I actually changed the rules a little bit with this drawing. Uh, I said that you had to like uh, this company on Instagram. I can't really say that because I don't even personally have an Instagram and I know a lot of you guys don't have an Instagram, so we're gonna throw that rule right out of the window. If you commented and you're one of my subscribers, you're in for the drawing on this thing. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button here that sorts everything out and picks a winner for the first one. And the first winner of the flashlight goes to Steve Minich. And he said, his comment was nice, you're in the house promoting your channel while Kaylee's outside working. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, I didn't actually realize that she was uh, photobombing me the whole time that day until I was editing the video. But Steve Minich, go ahead and uh, contact me right here on the channel. I'll get your address and send you out this sweet flashlight. You're going to like it. It is pretty bright. Okay, so now we have the cube. Your portable phone charger whenever you're hunting and everything. So we're going to go ahead and resort this stuff and pick a winner here. Okay, we have a winner of the cube, and it is Paul Gibson. He said, awesome video, Cliff. Keep up the good work. Other people might not watch you, but us supporters do, and we appreciate your videos, so keep them coming. So, Paul Gibson, go ahead and contact me through my channel here, and I'll get your address and send you the cube. I think you'll get a kick out of this little product. This thing's pretty cool. But, uh, once again, thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning's turkey hunt. And you should be too. We got a bird lined up. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you later.